we want to be the most professional, unselfish, well-conditioned, toughest physical football team in the league. And in order to do that, you're going to have to find tough players and unselfish players. And we're going to constantly look to innovate and adapt, you know, regardless of who our personnel is. And I think you know, we're going to play to the strengths of the team and we're going to be flexible, but we're going to do it in all three phases. And we're going to have guys that are great teammates and understand how to adapt. Because you're going to see a team that's going to fly around and you're going to see a team that's going to be smart and, and play a physical brand of football and play to the, the strength of this team. We got a lot of playmakers and we, I've certainly, Terry and I will look to add more to them and uh, we're going to fly around. You're going to see a smart team and we're going to be good in situational football. Well, Matt, Matt's had a lot of success and Matt, Matt's the ultimate pro and uh, he's had a lot. He, he's a great leader and obviously he, there's a lot of things that he can do, but I, I don't get in comparisons. Just because we did something with Ryan doesn't mean we're going to do the same thing with Matt. We're going to play to Matt's strengths just like we try to play to Ryan's strengths. But I, I'm obviously looking forward to, to getting in there and, and coaching Matt when the time comes. But like, it's not just Matt, it's all, it's all the guys on this, this roster. I mean, there's, there's so many good pieces here and, and it's going to take the entire team. I and mean, that's going to be a big thing. I mean, we're going to look for guys that are great teammates and we're going to hold our best players accountable. And so uh, certainly, whether that's Matt or Grady Jarrett, I mean, they're, they're all gonna be held to the same standard. I'm fired up. I, yes, I, I've spoken to Terry. Terry, uh, you know, we've got to know him, you know, here briefly over the last couple of days, but we, we share the same vision. We have the same values. Uh, you know, certainly it won't be groupthink, but, but Terry and I, it'll, it'll be an ultimate partnership. It'll be a great collaboration and, and, and a good partnership as, as we look to build this team in the short term and the long term. We're just in week one, and it's going to take a long process to, to get through this, to get familiar with the roster, because things change so much. When you got free agency coming up, you have the draft. Certainly, the, what the roster looks like today is not what it's going to look like in June, and certainly not what it's going to look like in September when we line up week one. So it's a constant evaluation. Uh, obviously, there's some good pieces here, but uh, but but all these guys, we'll, we'll ultimately we'll we'll find the best 48 to go out there on Sunday. I know you got the 53 and the 48 that dress. We'll we'll find the best 48 to go out there on Sunday or Monday or Thursday or Tuesday, whatever day they tell us to play. So, but it'll be a constant evolution. Well, cer certainly you want to establish your own culture. I mean, there, there, there's been a lot of success here, but this is the way we're going forward in the 2021 with the Falcons. So you want to establish your culture. You, like I said, it's a constant evolution. We want to continue to, to grow and improve. Uh, you know, the team that you're going to be week one is not the team you're going to be week 17 and, and, and throughout the playoffs. So they got to understand that it's going to be constant improvement. And that's what we preach and that's what we'll coach. We flew into Atlanta yesterday. My family is so excited to be here. Got in Atlanta last night and uh, it's it's been a whirlwind. You know, more, more so the kids like, hey, this is our new home and, they're, and they're, they're fired up for it. But everything has been, it's been awesome. I mean, the whole transition, can't say no good things about everybody here getting us into town. Really, your mind starts to race. You know, you go through the season. Obviously, this season was like no other. You know, with the COVID protocols, and you're going through the grind. And then, unfortunately, we lost in, in, to, in a, in a one-possession playoff game, and so everything just kind of hits you. And you go through this interview process. And then, fortunately, when I was able to uh, get the job, I mean, your mind just starts moving a million. It's like a new adrenaline, new energy, and and it just you wake up, and every day you're ready. To, there's a lot of things you got to tackle and task, and I'm ready just go right through them. So it, it, it's, it's, like I said, it's like a shot of espresso every morning when I wake up right now. It's one of the top flight brands in, in sports. And, and the, obviously being in here in the city of Atlanta, the history, uh, the makeup of the roster, several factors. Just knowing the kind of organization this was, you know, it's rare you get an opportunity when jobs like these come open, that everything just kind of fits. And so it's, it's uh, it couldn't be better, the, the, the fit for me, for my family. Uh, we're so fired up to be here for this job. It's a city with a rich history. I'm very familiar with it. They really kind of my whole life, I've lived somewhere in the Southeast. Other if you, depending on how you call it DC, do you call it the Southeast or you call it the North? But Joe, I've just been fortunate. Going from Memphis, went to high school up in DC, went to college in Chapel Hill, uh, worked for a year in, in Oxford, Mississippi, to Nashville, now I'm in Atlanta. And so very familiar. It, it, it feels like home and, it, and it, it, all these cities are different, but. There's a certain hospitality to it and a great, great history here, and we couldn't be more excited to be here.